Hello and welcome to this video tutorial today. We're looking at filling with color using the Shape Builder tool in Illustrator. But before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training over at udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family and friends. So let's swing back to Illustrator. I have here a rectangle, a circle and a star there layered on top of each other. Each of them has a white fill and a black stroke. Now if you're used to using the Shape Builder tool, you'll know that you can select over all of these shapes, go to the Shape Builder tool and then join things together. So for example, we could make this a shape, these two bits here. I would do that by simply dragging over both of these shapes and when I drag over both those shapes, they're then connected. If I want to remove something as a shape, I don't want it to be there any longer, I'll hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option on a Mac and just drag through it and it's removed. So you can go ahead and join things together and break them apart as you wish to create individual shapes and you do that using the Shape Builder tool. That's all pretty standard sort of stuff. Let me just revert this to the way it was when I last saved it. What's not always so evident is that you can apply color using the Shape Builder tool as you actually make your shapes. Now you probably already know that you can do that using the Live Paint Bucket tool. When I hover over a shape here with the Live Paint Bucket tool, I can select to fill it with color, but the Shape Builder tool works the same way. It's just not obvious. Right now we're not seeing anything that indicates that we could dump paint into these shapes. Let's double click on the Shape Builder tool to get access to its options. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick color from the color swatches because I want to get my colors from over here. And I do want my cursor swatch preview. So I want that little preview that's showing me what color I'm about to dump into that area. I'd also like to see the strokes if they're editable and I'm going to color them light red. That's going to make it a little easier to see what exactly we're doing. I'll click OK. Now we get the Shape Builder tool but it looks more like live paint. So let's go and get some colors. I'm going to grab a color in this small swatch I have here. You'll see it's applied as the fill color but it's also the middle color in the cursor preview here. And so now if I drag over shapes to join them together using the Shape Builder tool, not only am I joining them together but I'm also filling them with the color I have selected. Like the Live Paint Bucket tool, I can use the left and right arrow key to move through the colors. And so what I'm going to do is target my pink here. I just pressed the right arrow key twice. So I'm targeting pink. You'll see pink's over here. You'll see pink is selected over here. So if I just drag through a shape, I'm applying color. If I drag over more than one shape, then I'm joining it and applying color. So that's a way that you can use the Shape Builder tool to not only make your shapes, but also to fill them with color because it can behave like the Live Paint Bucket tool. You just have to know that you can make it do that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things from it that you were previously unaware of. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.